Hey everybody! So in honor of the Hunger Games opening up at the movie theaters this weekend, I decided since I can't actually go and see the movie, I'd do the next best thing, which is to read the novel Battle Royale. Now if you're not familiar with Battle Royale, it was written up by Koshin Takami, and it's a Japanese novel that was released in 1999 and has seen English releases uh, around 2000, the early 2000s by Viz Media. It's been translated in Japan into a live-action movie as well as a manga series. There was actually a sequel movie made, but it had nothing to do with the original writer, so we'll forget all about it. If you haven't heard of Battle Royale before, this is the novel that a lot of people have criticized Suzanne Collins and said that she actually ripped off the novel Battle Royale in order to create the novel The Hunger Games. Now, whether this is true or not, who's to say? I've read both now. And I can honestly see where both probably could have evolved completely on their own. Taking a look at our culture right now, reality TV shows, uh, celebrities made out of absolute nobodies, uh, people chosen at random to take part in these contests that can often be physically grueling, possibly even dangerous. I mean, we've seen people injured in Survivor and so forth. It's for entirely realistic that Suzanne Collins really had no knowledge about Battle Royale whatsoever. Battle Royale takes place in an alternate timeline where Japan sits at the center of the Republic of Greater East Asia that includes parts of China as well. Every year they pick 50 classes of third year junior high school students. That means these kids are about 15 years of age and there's about 42 kids in each class. And each class is set up in a separate area where each of the students from that class will have to battle one another to the last person standing. The children are abducted. They think that they're going on a school trip. Instead, they're gassed and then transported to another location where they will take place in the program. They're not given any training. They are told basically that they either fight or they die. Each child is equipped with a collar that will ex can be detonated at any time, and they're told that if nobody dies within a 24-hour period, they will detonate the collars of every single person. And with that, they decide randomly where they're going to start, and they start calling the kids one by one, and they say, as you leave the class, grab a black bag. It has supplies and a weapon. The next student will leave two minutes after you. There are 42 kids, and we follow them all as they begin to die. Now, Battle Royale is a pretty intense book. It's gruesome. It's unflinching. I think like one of the fundamental differences with Battle Royale that compared to the Hunger Games, and, and I, I apologize, I am going to be comparing a bit to the Hunger Games just because I've read the two very close together, and of course everybody's talking about the Hunger Games, the Hunger Games, the Hunger Games. So, I want to compare at least a little bit, just so if you've read The Hunger Games, you can kind of get where Battle Royale is. Okay, so with The Hunger Games, we spend the entire series basically riding on Katniss's shoulder. We see everything from her point of view, meaning that if she's not present at a specific event, we don't see that event. We might find out about it later on, but we don't actually witness it. In Battle Royale, there are 42 kids, and we are given time with every single one of them. We find out what most of them have in terms of their motivations. We find out backstory about them. We find out how they die. It's a much more emotional novel in that case because you actually find yourself invested in a number of characters. Certainly there are a couple that are sort of main characters that we follow their stories throughout the book, but we really do see every single participant. The other thing that adds this sort of visceral uh, fright of the novel is, is that, first of all, none of these kids are trained. So, unlike, say, the Hunger Games where the troopers are brought in and they're, you know, treated to this wonderful food and they're trained on how to survive and how to fight and everything else, these kids literally are knocked unconscious, they wake up, they're told, you need to kill each other and go to it. And that's it. And the weapons that they get have a manual in the bag that tells them how to use the gun or how to use whatever it comes with. So there is this incredible intensity to the book, the, the fear uh, that these students are facing. Um, 
we see them try to beat the program in a number of ways and you know whether they unite together whether they stay alone we see some of them descend into madness we see some of them rise above and become heroes uh, ones that are stereotyped early on to be a certain way turn out to be completely opposite, while others completely live up to their stereotypes. And the thing about this is that it's so unknown because even though all the kids know about the program, even though it is not, it's not a secret, it is televised when it happens. They don't televise the whole thing. They just say it happened and here's the survivor. That's it, right? But, even though they know about it, they have no idea that they're about to take part in it. There's no build-up to them experiencing the program. Unlike, say, the Hunger Games, where Katniss knows for the whole trip on the train. She knows during all the training sessions. She's building up to this thing. There, There is a chance to kind of emotionally cope with what is about to happen. And she's mentored even by someone who's gone through it. And because the whole Hunger Game is televised, she's even seen it and seen what happens. So she even has knowledge about what to do right from the get-go. These kids in Battle Royale, they have no idea. They're literally thrown to the wolves. And it just makes this novel so visceral. And, and it is gruesome and gory. If you don't have a strong stomach for that kind of stuff, you probably won't like it. But I have to admit... I liked it better than The Hunger Games. They are very different experiences. They are very different books. I know that everybody harps and says that Battle Royale did it first and that Hunger Games is a ripoff, but emotionally, and I think even the messages that these books are trying to convey are both very, very different. In terms of Battle Royale, this feels more like a comment on culture, a comment on people, a comment on how people can allow themselves to become sheep. Whereas The Hunger Games seems to be making more comment on the decadence of society and the whole idea of reality TV and taking it to an extreme level. I couldn't put down Battle Royale. And you know what? I couldn't put down The Hunger Games either. But for very different reasons. In The Hunger Games, it was all about Katniss. As much as I know there's lots of you people out there that love PETA, it was really all about Katniss. How is she going to get out of this? In Battle Royale, even though there are major characters that we see a lot more of, there is still an effort to make us emotionally invested in every single character in the book. And every single death has some emotional impact to it. And that I really appreciated, particularly when you have something as sinister and, at the time, controversial about having kids kill kids. It was just interesting to me because we actually saw the motives for why some of them did it. We saw emotional impact on them. We saw what this program was doing to them. And to me, that was a lot more compelling and a lot more interesting. And I found myself thinking almost at times that the author was cruel because he would create such a compelling character and then that character was gone. I really don't have anything to say about this book that's negative. There's the odd plot twist that I question slightly, um, you know, would a kid of this age be capable of thinking that way? But once again, there's probably cultural differences even that could account for some of these things that I'm not aware of. So I just let it be. But reading the story as it is, I thought it was fabulous. It's a really emotional ride. It's everything that an action book should be. And I think if you've enjoyed The Hunger Games, at the very least you should give Battle Royale a try. If you thought the violence in Hunger Games was shocking, well, this one's going to shock you even more. In fact, like I said, some people may not even be able to handle the kind of gore and detail that happens because it is brutal. Battle Royale is 
brutal. But what a great book. There are a lot of themes and ideas that happen in this book that I found really interesting and are still very, very relevant today. Perhaps the best way to say this is, is that Battle Royale is almost a marriage between 1984 and Lord of the Flies. You have the stranded kids that will act one way or the other from Lord of the Flies, and you have the all-powerful totalitarian government watching everything you do, controlling aspect of 1984. And through these kids in Battle Royale, we actually see how it is that the government's controlling. And you begin to see the seeds of how this government has survived. And there's some great little reveals at the end that I don't want to spoil that about the program and why it exists and everything else. And it makes such perfect sense. And it really ties into a lot of the things that characters have asked and talked about throughout the book. So Battle Royale, I highly, highly recommend this book, particularly if you like the Hunger Games. It is similar, but once again, big warning on it. Uber, uber violent. Uber violent. Lots of blood, lots of guts, lots of brains. It's really violent. But if you can handle it, it's more than worth the read. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll be back with something new later.